Well, hello there, YouTube. So how's this for a little different start for the day? That little hay fever attack thing I had yesterday morning was a little more than just hay fever. That thing kind of wiped me out. It, it never got sunny today. I don't think it, it ever rained, but it, the high got to 43 degrees, and I was going to ride something. 48 I was thinking about. But anyway, it never, the dew for the night, it just... I didn't feel good. The weather wasn't nice. That's the end of my excuses. So, I've told a few of you guys I would uh, do a little thing on how I, what my little workflow is here with the uh, with the iPad. So let me show you, for starters, the difference between the two iPads is like crazy. This is my 10.5 inch from that I've been using a little over a year. She's been my rock star for all this time. She is a smoker, but the uh, you know the 12.9 with the new style came out, so uh, I decided that's what I was going to use. Well, that kind of disrupted my workflow a little bit because a lot of times I shoot with my cameras or I mean my phones, and I use a, um, the uh, SanDisk iXPAN drive it has a little iOS connector and then you know the USB on the other side and my favorite is the uh, Kingston Bolt Duo they call it so you shoot all your little videos and you you know once you're done you choose which ones you're keeping which ones you're tossing you send them to the camera roll and then you plug your iXPAN drive in there or the Kingston Duo and you transfer the files to this I transfer them to the laptop and directly to a uh, um, hard drive for uh, storage. I store everything. I throw absolutely nothing away. And uh, this is a moment uh, 18 millimeter. Are you going to focus on that? I don't think you are, are you? This old Sony camera. I'm going to have to replace this old gal. But anyway, this is the moment wide lens, the 18 millimeter. Works fantastic. The uh, iPhone, the uh, 10s works so much better in low light than the than the 10 the 10s and the 10s max which this is the uh, the difference in low light is crazy you guys probably noticed that the other night when I used the 10 of when we're saying goodbye and stuff it's not this just does not pick up low light like the uh, like the 10s but that being said moment doesn't have a case until I think the first of the year for the for the 10s and the 10s max either one but anyway i transfer the files and then when i'm done transferring them for backup i plug them into my uh ipad and i transfer the files over to the ipad you select view these are videos from yesterday so you go into whichever phone it was and you select which ones you want dot whoops like you hit select all whatever you want these are some pictures and stuff but anyway um she's not reacting to me is she i got cold hands it's cold and hack outside there i just got through packing this stuff in anyway i transfer them to the ipad i know all these things sync between the ios devices are all on the same itunes account and they do sync but i don't put anything in the camera roll until the very end because yeah it may all the stuff may sync to the phone but then it's not fully downloaded on the iPad. It's just a much quicker quicker workflow to transfer them to a card and then back. Well then, here comes the, uh, the new 12.9 inch iPad Pro. And uh, that throws a little bit of a monkey wrench into things in that it now uses, get it to focus again, Wow, that's a non-focusing son of a gun. She's getting old. I need to take the original one of these that I originally lost. But uh, USB-C. So, needless to say, Lightning doesn't plug into USB-C. So that, that caused a problem. Well, something I've used for quite a while for... Uh, hold on a second here. That I've used uh, while traveling are external hard drives. Here we are. And this one's got Face ID. This is so nice. This thing is such a rock star. This thing is so nice. But um, anyway, 
a wireless hard drive. You boot them up. Anyway, this is a wireless hard drive. Well, it also works very, very well as a router. So this is not the SSD version because it's like four or five times the price. So I bought this, I showed you guys here a little bit ago, this RAB power, and this is nothing but a router. And kind of the same thing, it has the SD card slot, the USB um, uh, port for transferring your stuff you know, to and from. And you can transfer this to, like I store them on, I buy those four terabyte, the little small USB only, they're USB powered. They cost about a hundred bucks or something. I buy four terabyte ones. That's where I transfer everything to. And these work good for this. So if you're new to the iPad, you realize that not everything plugs in. Not everything is USB-C friendly yet. Well, this is the wireless world. Apple wants you to go wireless. I love going wireless. This is totally wireless. In fact, this thing transfers the files off of these cards faster than what these were transferring them to the old iPad and even faster than I've got a little camera case that I use to carry all my my little gizmos and gadgets my little readers and whatnot it transfers faster than that it is like insane how fast it transfers so I've got all the stuff from the two phones in here from yesterday so we'll just give that thing just a couple of seconds it there's a lot of files on there so it takes it uh, this a second it kind of analyzes what's on there but um yeah all this is wireless i don't i don't hardly plug anything i just pretty much plug my power cord in there at night and fly with it so you need to switch to which it automatically did it switched to to the five gig gigahertz um there's a 2.5 and a five gigahertz you want to use the five so um, this comes with its own app it's called my files there's the Kingston bolt that's plugged in and uh, all my files are in there is that the, the uh, 10 and the 10s and uh, I don't use that I just wake that up so I know it's there I use the default Windows app and it's already sitting on my cloud click that there's the Kingston uh, bolt um, we'll look at the the 10s videos first but there those are sitting all right they're uh they're already there because this is the file i i worked on today i apologize for the late release i slept in big time so you select whichever ones and you uh down you download them and it'll has like a little download folder at first it shows a little cloud symbol and it'll transfer them from this card through the router to the ipad boom fast really fast but as you can see they're already there so once they're downloaded you don't have the little cloud picture you select them then you hit share and then down here you hit save for videos so did I delete any of these out of my I think they're still sitting in yeah they're all still sitting in my camera roll so this is yesterday's block just still sitting here so they transfer over and once I share it because it's technically sitting on the iPad in the background it immediately absolutely instantly shows up in the photos and how I do it like yesterday's vlog was uh, 111 or 1111 so once the files are are in the uh, um, in the drive I'll go through and I'll select and I'll say add to and then I'll pick that fo I'll create a folder see I can create a new one here and I create a new one but I don't need to do that because it's already there This is a, a power read write or power indicator and a read write button. This is a USB A, you know, the, the standard square USB port. This is the power per port or for transferring to another computer. This is the power button, and that's the SD card reader. Really, really fast router. Noticeably, even though this one has 5 gigahertz, noticeably faster. But I carry this in my backpack because it weighs nothing you know it's at least half the weight and it's small and portable so anyway it's a little bit of sidetrack there so I can close that get out of that 
what almost everybody use that uses an iPad uses Luma Touch uh, by Luma. Well, it's Luma Fusion by Luma Touch. And well, I was going to show you guys building this thing, but it's already sitting there. So I have uh, man, they've got like in the the sound library thing. Um, hey, this I don't know which this one is, but we'll play it. something here's one I used in the day before yesterday when I was driving down the highway and this is all royalty free music but uh, like my photos I select an album I scroll down here's the album that I made for yes that I made for yesterday's vlog and there's all the files sitting right there and you can see where I've made cuts. The yellow is what's in the saved in the video. The little cutaways are parts that I've chopped out. Either it's real common for me to say something I'm not supposed to say at work. So I go, mm, that'll get me in trouble. But anyway, you build the timeline. You just go through piece by piece. You double click to drop them in the timeline, or you can drag and drop them. You can scroll. Oh man, it's great. You have multiple layers uh, where you can add. Uh, like, let's just pick. Let's just pick one of these things and stack it on top of another one. So you can have multiple layers of videos, and uh, pick one of these. You can drag and drop multiple layers of music underneath there. Tons of different options for, uh, like, when you. Have you can colorize, you can play with sound, you got all these cool things and sounds, you can save presets, um, colorization, you got tons and tons. I mean, it just never ends all the different things you have for it. It's like a full editor. Not quite. I mean, I was using a Cyberlink PowerDirector 15 or 16, I think is the last one I used. Uh, there's more features to that, but nothing nothing beats the speed of this iPad I mean this thing smokes through the videos it is amazing how it smokes through the videos just <laughs> she's a hauler anyway that's pretty much it when I'm done I uh, let's open up Luma Fusion I the ending process you know you come up with a with a title that you do when you're done and as you're going through you can take snapshots you can do all kinds of different things just there's so much to this editor, it's crazy. But what I do, I, I could save it to the drive, I could save it to a card, but I've occasionally run into bumps here and there. So I send it to um, um, to the uh, photo album and then transfer it from the album through the router to a card and then to my... I usually use my computer to, uh, to upload because it frees me up to, to deal with... Uh, images and stuff here so anyway you can set all you got different parameters you know your feet per second your frame rate you know depends on what you're doing I've been shooting in 30 here lately because it absorbs light you can alter the size there's just tons of things you can do so I uh, I upload to the uh, computer while that's going on and then I use this to edit photos and uh, I shoot everything in raw I use um, Adobe's uh, their uh, Lightroom and on your phone the Lightroom has literally the most amazing raw camera ever that thing works so well and I can edit the photos right here from the phone as well this phone's like super fast but why do that when you got this huge screen here in front of you so these are all raw files they save them as a DNG and uh, for example, this was yesterday's um, edit that I was doing yesterday. And that's yesterday's uh, photo. And uh, that's unprocessed raw. And there's, there's the processed image. Amazing. These programs are amazing. And they're supposed, soon there's supposed to be a desktop version of... Uh, of Photoshop as well but now you got Photoshop Express this Photoshop fix that thing works really good too another one is this um, 
Affinity Photo. Man, this is this is like Photoshop on your iPad. That thing is a heavy, heavy hitting program. And um, I use, as you can see, these are all like at school thumbnails. If you guys remember those videos. And I use that. And again, shooting raw and processing them with Affinity Photo works amazingly well. So anyway, that's my that's my flow. That's how I that's how I build the videos every single day. Previously, I was using the 10.5 iPad Pro, still a rock star. In fact, I still use it a lot. Um, got the older um, Apple Pencil for it. If you guys are wondering the size different, they're about the same thickness, but they're a little shorter. And this one has a little, I don't know, kind of a matte, a denim kind of a texture to it you don't have to worry about losing the little cover for the charge because you just simply stick it on top of your iPad and it magnets itself magnetizes itself to the top and charges so I hope that answered any questions you guys had wondering how and what I do I hope I, I tried to get everything in as quick as I could I'm sure I fumbled some words and probably didn't show everything but uh Anyway, that's it in a nutshell. All right. Now, I've got to drag all this stuff across the cold, foggy night out there and go back inside. So I can cheat and you guys can see the time and everything. You guys realize the clock on iOS is telling you the exact time right down to the second hand? And your calendar is telling you the date as well. But uh, anyway, thank you guys very much for uh, coming out and hanging out with me out in the shop with the mo pickles I figured I want to be near to them I got a nice little thing set up with lights and everything else in the house but I figured I'd come out here with the mo pickles all right so that's that for what I do with my iPads Hope you guys enjoyed that all right I'll talk to you here in a bit well hello there YouTube we just stepped out here on the porch to do just a quickie quickie goodbye and then Put the mama's face on camera. I didn't I'm have here. my face on camera. It was just you guys staring at iPads and iPhones. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I hope that all comes out good. I uh, I kind of briefly kind of spun through it. I think it's okay. I think I I, I don't know. I didn't know, there was no script, so I just kind of threw flew through it as fast as I could. I hope it all comes out good. Wearing my CSX hat today with all its red, white, and blue and Chinese Very stuff patriotic. like that. Heck yeah. But uh, anyway, we're going to make this super, super quick. So we're just going to say goodbye and talk to you guys tomorrow. We got something we're doing tomorrow, so I need to be rested up and feeling better. Yes. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And I hope your Sunday or Monday are wonderful. Heck yeah. All right. Sorry for the quick, quick goodbye. Yeah, that's all no I got. No comment? <laughs> right. That's all I got. All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. You guys take care. Bye-bye now. Bye. Bye.